Our customers are experiencing a lot of disruption right now. You know, whether it's world events or economic headwinds, customers are looking for more and more flexible solutions. It's almost like flexibility has become the new normal. We're taking the latest collaboration technology and video technology and applying it to really solid instructional design to create a very different, really effective online virtual delivery. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining. My name is Becky Tassley. I'll be your facilitator for this virtual instructor-led training workshop. The goal for this program is to create an experience as if we are all sitting in the same room. What this means for our customers at SPI and Richardson is they get all the benefits of instructor-led training, role play, feedback, peer interaction, collaboration, but without the cost and logistics of putting people face-to-face -face in the same room. All right, great. It looks like we've got a great group on here. We are uh, representing all over the globe. What I'd love to do is get you guys to use your chat feature and tell me, what do you want to get out of this virtual workshop? Amy, you said getting a better access to your customers. Tell me more about that. It's just really hard these days to uh, get people's time, and I'm finding it even harder and harder when we want to get a senior meeting to really get my contact to help orchestrate that for us. All right, absolutely. Well, we can definitely share some best practices on that. Ruben, I noticed that you said you're looking for tips to keep the momentum in the sales process. Tell me what you're experiencing now. So what's been happening, I feel like what's been happening is that the opportunities start off really strong, but then as things progress, they seem, seem to get slower and slower to the point where sometimes it just stalls. So maintaining that momentum and being able to carry an opportunity all the way through a good amount of speed is a priority for me. One of the things that I really like about that platform is that level of connection that I'm able to forward with my colleagues, whether or not they're in Tennessee, Colorado, or in the UK. Having that level of interaction is really important. All right, guys, thank you for sharing with me how you guys are currently responding to some of those customer concerns. I think we can all agree that we need a more collaborative way to really help our customers resolve their biggest concerns. So I'm going to share with you some best practices to get that done. I've used other virtual platforms before, and they tend to be clunky, awkward. I would say that working within this particular platform is very intuitive. Let's go ahead and put this into action. We're going to go ahead and do a drill. All right, so I'm going to start with you, Ruben. If I'm your customer and I say to you, you know, I'm happy with my current provider, how would you respond to that using those best practices? Or something like, what do you like about your current provider? I love your question, but it's, it's too soon. So let's back it up. How could you acknowledge what I said? Maybe something like, a trusted, a trusted partner is important. What do you like about your current provider? Nice job. The way that we can transition from activities to interactions to even polling, um, I find very easy to use and is certainly something that I like to be incorporated in my day to day. All right, guys, thank you so much for all your hard work today. We've had a really great session. Before we talk about your on the job assignment, we're going to go ahead and quiz your knowledge. So I'm going to push you guys out of poll. There's seven questions, so you'll have to scroll through. Let's go ahead and answer them, and then I'll share the results when we're done. Well, using polls online through the platform is really helpful for me, not only to have my own voice be heard, but also to get a feel for what some of my other colleagues are thinking. I'd absolutely recommend a virtual workshop to other sellers. This is really the time for a new approach to virtual training because the technology has evolved to a place where we can deliver great virtual training experiences without having to put people physically in the room together.